good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in this world, whenever you're watching this channel. I'm Matthew Abram, Certified Detoxification Specialist, and I bring to you today a orange juice recipe. That's right, Valencia orange juice. Now, if you want to make this recipe, you won't need to check any links below or transcribe because all it is is Valencia oranges, a mason jar, a knife for cutting, more Valencia oranges, your hands with a knife in it to cut the oranges, and then you want to use your zest or your citrus juicer to squeeze the juice and, ex and expel the juice from the fibers of the fruit. That's the recipe. Hope you enjoyed. Now on to more important issues. Why am I wearing these glasses? Why do I wear these glasses? It's not to protect my eyes from the citrus juice. No, these glasses are safety glasses and have nothing to do with my video whatsoever. Those are just prescription safety glasses I enjoy wearing because I just got them and they're for my work. I am starting a stonemasonry job. Well, I've already started, but work has been slow. So I will really be starting the masonry job coming up this Monday. Yesterday, I was talking to my friend Tony Trope. You can find her on fans of Dr. Robert Morris fan page, Tanya Trope. She has given me the, 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 uh, the uh, opportunity to help her get well through her detox. She's a real trooper. You know, she's a mono melon. She's been on this path for eight months, going on nine months. And she is a detox trooper. So I really wanted to help her when she was communicating with me that she was relapsing with strep throat. And myself, I've experienced a lot of strep throat in my life and I know how much suffering is involved with that when you can't even swallow water if it gets to that level you're kind of on the fence whether you should get antibiotics or not and she was expressing her 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 uh, how uncomfortable she was feeling and the fact that she has two young girls to take care of well Let's just say that there's a lot to consider when you are detoxing, when to really dig in deep and and what is going on in your life to permit you being able to do such a thing. And Dr. Robert Morris, he always says, we do the best we can in the moment, right? So with that being said, she has a lot going on and she doesn't want strep to consume her and then make her totally incapable of taking care of herself, let alone a family. So I see this as an opportunity to help somebody who is is passionate about getting well and that just makes me want to get well and help others get well and it just she's uh, inspired me to really increase my activity in the detox reality. So with that being said, let me get to the nitty-gritty of the 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 discussion we had. So after she said she wants my help, I said, okay, I called the Dr. Robert Morris office and I talked to Drew. If you know who Drew is, he works at the front desk. He's a very helpful young man. And him and I had a discussion about her case. So you see, she has low blood pressure. So her adrenals are shot. Okay. She's having trouble putting on weight. So there's a lot of things to consider here when you're going to help any, any client or yourself. Because you have to consider the case history of the client. You can't just, it's every individual is different and their story is different. So you cannot uh, help each individual the same way as you did before. Sometimes things work, like what I'm going to share with you now, you can use to, to your advantage if you experience strep throat. So we're only going to talk about strep throat in this video. So basically what we figured out was that we first first off we need to get our kidneys open because why all of this strep throat came about was because as soon as she got in her nine herbs or whatever tincture she got she just like a trooper wants to dig in deep and kick some ass she pounded them all back and lo and behold strep throat comes back to haunt her five months ago she had it and she took antibiotics because it was just too bad it was just too much too harsh so she didn't want to take antibiotics again, so what we decided to do was gargle Parasite M. 
that's going to kill the microbe bacteria. That's important with strep throat because it's a bacterial infection. Secondly, bulk up because because she's having trouble putting on weight and she's having trouble eating anything but melons because of the pancreas issues and the digestive issues. Melons are the best thing for her. Very soothing. Open up the kidneys. Aren't too aggressive because oranges are aggressive. Um, yes, I'm taking orange juice, but that's just me. Also, so adrenals, kidneys, two kidney formulas, adrenals, a lymphatic formula, parasite M gargling, heal all T, and that's what we had to work with. So that's what we were doing. But what I really wanted to bring up, and what I'm trying to emphasize here, is that you can use parasite M and gargle it to kill the bacteria in your throat if you're experiencing any colds or cold-like symptoms. So if you're feeling sick, like you're having a cold, then just eat some Parasite M, please. And stick to the fruits. We can't stress that enough. You must stick to fruits. That is how you open up the eliminative pathways and get rid of everything that's making you seem like you're sick. Okay. Enough said about that. If you have any questions about her case, if you want to talk detox, then go to Facebook, look for my friend Tanya Troke, and maybe what I'll do is I'll add her name to this video and post it on Facebook. That's what I'll do. If you need to find her, you can find me, Matthew Abram. That's right, I'm not Matthew Malar, Matthew Malar. Malar was my middle name, it was for marketing. I don't like going by that name, although I'm still on the Matthew Malar channel. I plan on changing my channel name because in the future I will have a detox business and it will not be called Matthew Malore and I want my YouTube channel to be able to be viewed by customers, clients and I'm not against the name Matthew Malore but I'm just moving away from it, blah, 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 blah. I feel like a phony, but I'm not. I just don't give a shit. But... For all the kids out there watching, excuse my language, oh my god. Bleep! I'll bleep that out. I'll see if I can bleep that out. I'm not going to bleep that out. Okay. Peace. Because that's what the world needs. And orange juice for me. Bye.